What? How stupid would I be to do that? I didn't say you were holding. That's stupid. Hold on to your weeks, folks. It's getting towards the end of the year. As we all aggressively cry over our bank accounts that are not at all ready for a month of Christmas shopping and debauchery, we may also find ourselves reflecting on another year done. Another year of torture on this mortal realm. 2019 has been a funny one, with continuing political chaos, heat waves so hot it makes your eyeballs sweat, and a whole horde of celebs getting cancelled. Welcome back to Bluntly Put. As we fast approach the end of the decade and get ready to cut our hair short, wear impossibly tiny skirts and jive our way into the roaring 20s, it's important to reflect on all we've achieved this year. A stem cell transplant provided hope for a cure for HIV, gay marriage was finally made legal in Northern Ireland, and England came within touching distance of winning an actual sports event the Rugby World Cup. The internet has also done some fun things this year. We've memed Spongebob to within an inch of his poorest life, laughed at angry Karen and her kid's bop, and made a zombie snail go viral. Good job, guys. Something we've also bossed this year? Cancelling people who bloody well need cancelling. Yep, us millennials have been doing people dirty in 2019, digging deep into their past and calling out the bullshit. The result? Lots and lots of celebs went in the bin. To celebrate our achievements, here is a comprehensive list of all the people we have told to bugger off forever this year. Hashtag cancelled. All right, lads. In 2019, Justin Trudeau got well and truly internet murked. Yep, former fave for being handsome and supposedly a champion of the underrepresented, Justin Trudeau has been cancelled. Apparently September was a month of scandals, as pictures and videos of Trudeau in blackface emerged, and obviously it was not good. The images show a younger Trudeau in the 90s, being a racist moron surrounded by friends and fellow students who, funnily enough, aren't in blackface. He apologised, but as we know, that's not how it works. Amazingly, he managed to get re-elected as the Prime Minister of Canada, but in our book, he's still very, very cancelled. Andrew Scheer, the leader of the opposition, rightly said, what he did was racist in 2001 and is racist now. Retweet. So, shall we move away from political figures and into the music world? Michael Jackson. This year, a whole load of sh came out about MJ. After the documentary Leaving Neverland came out at the beginning of the year, MJ joined many other famouses before him in absolute disgrace. The film showed accusations made by Wade Robson and James Safechuck against the former King of Pop, saying they were sexually assaulted hundreds of times by Jackson when they were young children. But to be honest, was anyone surprised? I distinctly remember being a kid and being scared Michael Jackson was going to kidnap me and dangle me over a balcony or something. But yeah, this year seems to have been the final straw and now people refuse to listen to his music, the epitome of cancel culture. Whilst we're on singers what got done, let's dive into R Kelly. He believed he could fly, but did he believe he could truly get away with abusing hordes of women and not get cancelled? Think again, hun. For 20 years, women have been accusing the washed up singer of abuse, and it seems people are finally listening. What made people pay attention? Well, just like MJ, it took a documentary. Cancelled and in jail. Bye. But to be honest, it's been a bit of a bad year for celebs all round. Empire star Jussie Smollett got cancelled in the summer after he for some unbeknownst reason, decided to stage a homophobic and racist attack against himself. At first, when everyone actually believed him, the internet was flooded with sympathy, and people decrying what type of awful person could possibly do such a thing. Well, in this case, no person did do such a thing. Police investigated it, and Jesse refused to let them look at his phone. Then, a month or so later, he gave an absolutely bizarre statement, which he ended by saying, I'm the gay Tupac. Right blah blah blah, more hoo-hahs and scandals, and in February the police officially charged Jesse with disorderly conduct and filing a false report. As the news broke, people were rightly outraged that someone would use something as serious as a violent, homophobic and racially charged attack to gain press. Real people experience real violence because of both these things. It is not something to be utilised for fame cancelled. In another celebs being stupid type news, we find some privileged white women gone rogue. Laurie Loughlin and Felicity Hoffman both landed up shit creek without an oar as they were both accused of trying to bribe American universities into admitting their kids. Fuck no. It was a long and complex affair, but based on both women were accused of skewing entrance exams and bribing coaches at top level American unis. Whilst this is just unfair generally, it's also a super, super elitist and 
lucky thing to do. Just because your kids are rich and spoiled, it means they should get into a uni without putting in the graph that all the other hard-working kids have done. I'm not sure, Hans. So yeah, we cancelled them. Because we don't like rich people doing rich people things to propel their rich people lives. So it's been a busy old time of it, and quite frankly, we've achieved a lot. Do you reckon 2020 will be as wild? And who do you reckon will go in the bin next year? Let us know.